This is Joe from Teespring's graphic design team. Today, I'm trying to create a campaign with a goal of one. I have this JPEG, which I've created in Photoshop, and when I go to upload it at teespring.com slash designs, what I find is that the smallest goal that I get access to is a goal of three. To get that goal of one, I have to save this as an EPS. So in Photoshop, when I hit File, Save As, I can see that there are a bunch of EPS options to choose from. There's actually three here. Now, if I select any one of these, I'm going to find that the file still doesn't work. Either I'm unable to upload it due to errors, or when it does get uploaded, I still don't have access to goal of one. That's because in order to make these changes, we need a vector editor, and Photoshop's not a vector editor. So if you don't have access to Adobe Illustrator, which is the vector version of, of Adobe's software, uh, there are some software on the web that you can try. Now, I wouldn't recommend just Google searching anything because most of the software that you you'll find flying around in a web search isn't actually vector editors either. These are things that change file extensions, they change file names, but they don't actually change the data in the file. To do that, you'll want an actual vector editor, and the one that we recommend is Vector Magic. Vector Magic has two editions. There's an online edition which is free to try, and that's the one that we're going to use for this tutorial today to show you how it works. And then there's the desktop edition, which is more fully featured and costs about 300 bucks to use permanently. If you really do like the free trial uh, that you get from the online edition, you can actually continue using the online edition for a very reasonable cost. It's something like $8 a month for a subscription-based model, and you can continue to use it uh, you know, if it works for you. So the first thing you'll want to do to try out Vector Magic using your free vectorization is click Upload Image to Trace, where it says Start Here. We're going to find the PNG or JPEG, which we've previously created in Photoshop. And then automatically, Vector Magic detects the correct settings to vectorize your design and begins classifying and tracing the image. And you can see that it's doing it here on the right automatically. Um, while it's doing that, let's just show you the quick controls. On the left, there is an up, down, left, and right button for you to navigate around. You could also click and drag around to see all regions of your design. And you'd also zoom in and out using your mouse wheel or this little slide tool on the left. And you can see that Vector Magic has finished vectorizing, and on the right, it has an identical setup so that we can compare these two side by side to make sure that whatever is our final vectorized result here on the right is suitable for us. It, it looks close enough to our original image that we're satisfied with the way it looks. And I can see that this looks great. I, I'm actually ready to hit download result and move on. Now, not everyone who uploads art to Vector Magic is going to be super duper satisfied with what ends up in this vectorized result box. And that could be for a bunch of different reasons. Um, you can change the settings that Vector Magic is using to create this vectorized result here on the right, and that will change the result that you get here on the right physically. Uh, or if you really want to take it step by step, you can click back and actually go all throughout each step with examples to see how this works on a nuts and bolts kind of level. And that's what we're going to do here to show you, in case you weren't really happy with your vectorized result, here's the steps that you would take to get a better result. First thing is first is what type of image is this? If you're uploading a photo, that's probably the issue. Photos are very color dense, and unfortunately, Vector Magic uses colors to create a vector version of the design. So the more colors that you have flying around, the harder it is for Vector Magic to figure out what colors are which, where they're supposed to go, and that's why you're going to get something that looks a little crazy. If you have something that's more simple like this, you're going to want to choose one of these two options, blended or non-blended edges. The way you can tell which one yours is, is just using the slider or your mouse wheel to zoom in and compare the edge of the design to the two thumbnail examples. And doing so, we can easily see that this is artwork with blended edges. So that's the one that we're going to select. Our next question is, is this high, medium, or low resolution? Is it, what's the quality of the image? Um, if your image has this kind of artifacting that we have going on in this low box here, if it, if it looks blurry or pixelated or discolored, that is likely the reason that your final result wasn't great. If you choose medium or low, you might get a better result you know, play around with these, choose each individual one and, and see what the final result is and, and change them based on which one you think looks best. Uh, because this is nice and sharp and we were pretty satisfied with the uh, automatically selected high setting, we're just going to pick high. And our final choice is between unlimited and custom colors. For the purposes of Teespring, please always choose custom colors because that allows us to 
specifically choose which colors vector magic is going to select for our design and since we want to choose nine or fewer colors for a silk screen design it's very important that we don't just let uh let vector magic pick any color under the sun we want to make sure we limit it to the the two that are in our design which in this case is black and green so we'll pick that palette and then hit next and remember our vectorized result is actually good to go so from here you can hit download result and move on some of you might be wondering about this black background that we have here. And actually, this is something that's really important to, to bring up at this moment. Um, there's a button here that says remove background. And when you click it, it'll tell you assisted background removal is not available in this edition. It's only available in the fully featured desktop edition. Um, if you need to remove this background, like if you don't want this black square around your image, which I'm sure a lot of you don't, using vector magic, you won't be able to do that without the full version. You'll need to use a separate editor. We actually have another tutorial on the site that you could take a look at which shows you how to use Inkscape, which is a free piece of software that can make this exact change. But for now, we're going to proceed as normal just to show you how to get that vector done. So let's hit download result. And here's where we can plug in our email and hit I accept create my account. This will give us access to this vectorization and one more. And it'll give us a choice between file types. And again, remember, you want to select EPS. If you are going to get, go ahead and use the next tutorial and try to edit this in Inkscape, what I recommend is actually choosing an SVG file type. And I'll explain more about that in the Inkscape video. But if you do want to proceed with this as is and you don't need to make any more changes using Inkscape or any other piece of software, just save as an EPS and then head over to teespring.com design to get your goal of one campaign started.